I'm going to ask Perry at this time. You can have a seat if you will. Perry has a testimony he would like to extend to the church today. Uh, if you don't break his hand, get up here. <laughs> say or how I was going to say it or how long it was going to take, so I asked God to help me, and he promised me that he would give me the words. Um, I'm a very blessed man. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right? <laughs> and I'm a very sensitive man. Some of you don't know who I am. Some of you only know me a little bit. Some of you only see me messing with the camera up here. Thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. Um, I, I, uh, I've been a Christian since, since a teenager, and it has been a battle. Our lives are battles. You know, God speaks of warriors and battles and everything, but he says, I'll fight your battle. Amen. I've done things in my life that I never dreamed I would ever do. I worked in a maximum security prison, uh, took care of death row inmates and high profile prisoners, and my life was on the line every day. But I walked in there in peace and comfort because I know who my God is. That's right. And God said if we'd only give ourselves to Him, if we would only seek Him daily, if we would pray to Him, if we would walk with Him, if we would be faithful. You know, there's little minor things that Scripture speaks of about tithing and, and offerings. And it's not just about money. It's about faithfulness. It's about ourselves. Yes. It's about what we do for others. I want to take a moment. I'm also a poet. I also wrote a book and had it published, but I didn't make anything of that. You know, only God makes things of our lives. But I do want to say this, that through my faithfulness, through my trust, that God has blessed me. All four of my children have been successful in some way. My three boys are very successful. My daughter sits in prison. Some things you just can't control. That's right. But... God has taken me from being a hard-working man, providing for my wife and my children. Been married 33 years in September. Yeah, I ran away from home once, 20 years married. I was told I could have you replaced, and I was hurt. But God says, go home and make it work. Amen. 13 years later, we're still together. We still love each other. But what I wanted to say is I took a job with the Salvation Army. I thought, oh great, a Christian organization. This will be an awesome place to work. It was the worst two and a half years of my life. It wasn't the organization, it was the individuals. You had a lot of people who were drug addicts and alcoholics who were working through their programs, but yet they still had the attitudes. They still had the, I'm in survival mode and it's all about me. They hadn't found Christ. And it was one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. And I said, I'm going to stay here and be faithful. And I'm not leaving this job until something just drops in my lap. And it did. It dropped in my lap. I have a job now that's, uh, I, when I started, they said, we're going to pay you this much. That's $2 an hour more than what I was making. And then they said, well, if you get your hazmat uh, for your CDL, we'll give you another dollar. I got my hazmat, and they called me into the office and says, we decided to give you $2. Wow. So here I am making more money than I was working in the prison, putting my life on the line. And most of the time, I work hard in the morning. I have four to six hours where I stand around and do nothing, you know, keep an eye on things. And then I work hard in the evening and go home. And my overtime is, is awesome. I'm working less, harder. I have less stress in my life. And God is just blessing me abundantly. So I'm going to go ahead and read this poem that I had written a while back. It, it sounds kind of dark because it's called a veil of darkness, <clears throat> but it has a great ending. There is a darkness in every life that reaches deep within, though not the darkness that we think, not meaning that it is sin. This shrouded veil surrounds our souls, keeping out the life. We talk of love and blessing, sure, yet we live in strife. The temple veil was torn, top to bottom, revealed the holy place, the place where he alone abode. To so few he revealed his face. 
We say we are His and walk in faith, in truth, not really seeing. He wants to tear away our veil, revealing His very being. In the presence of my Creator, I tremble, shake in fear, not the fear of being scared, but humbled for being so near. Oh my God, my Lord, please hear my prayer and tear away that veil, for without you living in my life, my walk is doomed to fail. I pray you open my eyes to see and my ears your voice to hear. I pray you open wide my heart so I can learn to hold you dear. So many things pray I daily for, or so many things pray I for daily, but not for my own needs. I pray for others I may be used to plant your growing seeds. I wish to please you day by day, knowing my future you hold. I want to thank you with more and more, taller and oh so bold. Tear away the veil that blinds and show yourself anew. I want to see you more clearly now. I want to walk with you.